In this lesson, we're going to look at how to create an amortization table in Excel. And amortization tables are neat because they show you the exact payoff of your loan, and they show you how much money goes towards interest and how much money goes towards your principal of the loan each month. And what's interesting about amortization tables is that the bank always makes sure that they get paid their interest first, and whatever's left over goes towards your payoff amount or your loan amount. And so you can really see where the bank gets their money and then where they let you pay off your loan. So this problem says Lisa borrows money to buy a car, $24,000 for a six-year loan with 5.8% interest paid monthly. We're going to create the amortization payoff schedule and figure out how much did she pay in interest. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is her monthly payment. And we're going to use our favorite PMT function to find our monthly loan payment. Let's just set up our chart just like we did in the last video where we put our APR in Y and P. And at the bottom, we'll have a place to calculate that PMT function. So it's equals PMT parenthesis APR divided by N comma N times Y comma negative P. So to get her monthly payment, let's see, it's 5.8% interest. N, she's paying 12 payments a year or monthly, six years, and then $24,000. So she's going to be paying $395.49 each month on the car loan. So now we're ready to set up the amortization table. We have a couple columns. The first column is the month that we're talking about. We're always going to start with month zero, which is the month that she actually takes out the loan, because you don't start paying off a loan until the next month. So she's going to be paying this loan for six years. Each year has 12 months. So six times 12 means that there's going to be 72 months that she makes a payment. So we need to create this column to go from zero all the way down to 72. And the easiest way that I know of to do this is to put in those zero and click on it and then go up to, at least on my computer, it says editing and fill. Might be in a slightly different place on your computer. We want to fill a series. And then we want a series in columns that goes up by one each time and stops when we get to 72. So we're doing, we're filling in a series. We already told it to start at zero. It's going to go down in the column going by one each time, stopping when we get to 72. And that will create our whole chart for us going all the way down, accounting for all 72 months of the six-year loan. So much quicker to do it that way than some of the other ways I've seen students do it in Excel. So next we have our monthly payment. And just for space, I'm going to just put payment. And we make our monthly payment every month, and it's what we just calculated before with that PMT function. So our monthly payment is going to be $3.95. 49 and I'm going to drag that number down it's not going to change each month so I just clicked on the cell hovered over to the bottom right hand corner of the plus sign and double clicked to fill it down so every month we're going to pay 395.49 then each month we're going to make a payment towards interest our interest paid and then we're going to make a payment towards our principal And then we're going to have a new balance. So our initial balance is how much we borrowed, which was $24,000. To get the interest paid each month, what we do is we start with an equal sign. We take our interest rate, which is 5.8%. We divide it by 12 because we're making 12 monthly payments. And then we multiply it times our previous month's balance. So it's our APR divided by N times our previous month's balance. Hit enter. So I'm going to go up and double click on the plus sign to drag that down. And it looks funny right now because we don't have our whole chart filled in. It'll fix itself as we go. Then principal paid is your monthly payment minus what the bank took as interest paid to them. So the bank always takes its cut first. So this first month you're paying $116 to interest and $279.49 off on your principal. Drag that down. And then our new balance is going to be our old balance minus what we just paid in principal. So the balance is our old balance minus what we just paid off in principal. And then drag that down. So you see each month, all the cells just adjusted for us, we're paying a little bit less each month in interest and a little bit more each month off on our principal. And when we get all the way down after six years, we see that we almost get to zero. Actually, in this case, we overpaid by 22 cents. So the very last month, what you want to do is adjust it so that the final balance is zero and that we're not over or under paying the loan. 
Sometimes you might end up with like a positive number by a dollar or two. Sometimes it might be a negative number by a dollar or two. But either way, adjust that last payment so that you zero out the loan. So let's see, we paid 22 cents too much. So if we take our 395.49 and subtract 22 cents, what is that? Is that 27? Yep, there we go. So our last payment is going to be 22 cents cheaper so that we officially zero out the loan. So let's just get some totals down here. Our total payment, or the total amount we paid on the loan, is going to be the sum of our payment column. So if you do equals sum parenthesis, and I'm going to highlight this whole column. There we go. And close parenthesis, enter. Oh, there we go. So we're summing our payment column. So this says that we paid $28,475.06 to pay off the loan. This next one is the amount paid towards interest, so our total interest. And we can actually take this formula and just drag it over to get our total paid towards interest. So I'm just going to label these so it's a little bit easier. So this was our payoff amount. This was our interest. So we paid $4,475.06 in interest. And then if we wanted to create this last one, I can just drag my formula over one more spot. This is the initial balance of the loan. So we paid off all $24,000 that was owed on the loan. So we can see that we paid um, $28,475.06 to pay off the $24,000 car loan. And so it cost us $4,475.06 in interest. Okay, let's do one more. So Lee borrows $48,000 to pay for school. His student loan is a 20-year loan at 4.8% interest paid monthly. We want to create his amortization and figure out what is his total interest. So first thing, monthly payments. So APR, N, Y, P, we are monthly payment with that PMT function. So equals PMT, APR divided by N, comma, N times Y, comma, negative P, close parenthesis, enter. So if he's borrowing $48,000, say 20 year loan, he's going to be making monthly payments. So that's 12 times a year, 4.8% interest. So Lee is going to pay $311.50 each month. So this is a 20 year loan. Each year has 12 months in it. So he's going to have 240 months to keep up with. So when we do our months, we need to put the zero in. Excel needs to know a starting value. And then you don't want to type 240 numbers. That's a huge waste of time. Click on that zero, that starting number. Go up to editing, fill, fill series. We want it to go down in a column, going up by one each time, and stop at 240. So much quicker to let Excel fill in that column than for you to try to do it yourself. Then we have our monthly payment which is going to be 311.50 each time. So we hover over the bottom right hand corner of the plus sign, double click to fill it in all the way down. Then we're gonna figure out our interest paid, our principal paid, and then we'll look at our balance. And our balance starts off at $48,000 for the loan. Okay. So interest paid is our APR, which is 4.8% divided by 12 payments a year times our previous balance. Drag that down. Then principal paid is our monthly payment minus what we just paid towards interest. So we are actually paying more in interest on this first month than we paid towards principal. And then our new balance is our old balance minus our principal paid. I need to drag both of these last two down. All right, way too many decimals. So I'm going to highlight all of them because that's way too many decimals. And just decrease to two. There we go. That looks better. So we see initially each month we're paying more in interest than we got to pay off on our principal. And then somewhere along the way, it switches and we get to start paying more in principal than we did in interest. We go down for 20 years, so scrolling way down, and this final month we overpay by 17 cents. So I need to adjust my last month's payment so that we're not overpaying by 17 cents. Let's see, 
is that 311, let's try 37. Oh, no, not quite right. Try 33. There it is. Okay, so our last month we'll pay 311.33 to zero out that loan. So for our totals, see this first one is our total payments, how much it takes to pay off the loan. So if we sum all of our payments, highlighting that whole column, there we go. So we're summing all of those cells to get the total amount we paid on the loan, which was $74,759.83. Then our total interest paid, now we can just take this formula and drag it over. We're paying $26,000.759 in interest. And then the total that we paid on the balance, if we drag this over, that is the initial $48,000 that you borrowed. So it's crazy that the bigger the loan, the more you pay in interest and it adds up quickly. You know, the car payment that we saw previously, we were borrowing $24,000 and had to pay $4,000 in interest. That's a lot, but that's not like borrowing $48,000 and having to pay $26,000, almost $27,000 in 